Hey, this is Mark. Uh, today I want to cover how you could get a document URL and that document's title, poster page title, and stuff it into a form using hidden fields so that when someone fills out your form and submits it, you'll get all that information at the same time and it's all in one place. Okay, so here's Nevada form right now and there's three hidden fields in this form. The first one I cover in a different video, so I'm going to skip that and go right to this one called doc URL. So it's uh, technically it's doc hyphen URL. And I'm going to set this using a JavaScript function. OK, we'll cover that. And the other one is the post title. And you could use a dynamic data setting in the Avada form options to get that done. OK, so let's look at the HTML first for each one. So let's look at that doc URL. Um, here's the form tag. I'm going to scroll down because I know the hidden fields are down towards the bottom of the form. And this first hidden field we're going to skip for now and go right to the one that has a doc URL as the ID. And if you look at its value, it's already being set to the URL of that page, which the form is on. All right, so if you just compare that to the address bar, it's the same. Now, jumping down to the page post title ID for this hidden field, we'll see that that value is set to the title of the post. Go back to the post, and that matches up perfectly. Okay, how do we do that? Well, let's go into the Avada form itself and look at those settings. This is the form. This text area you actually don't see because it's conditional. It'll only show up if the query parameter, which is that first hidden uh, field, is equal to some value. So again, I'll cover that, or I have covered that in a different video, and I'll link that in the description. So let's go down and look at this email field, which matches with our form and the submit button. Under that, you'll see the hidden fields. We'll skip down to the document URL and click on that to see what that looks like. The field label, I think this is optional. I just typed something in there just so it's not blank. Field name, this is what I think is the most important thing to fill out. Make sure you have something there, especially for the URL because I'm going to use some custom JavaScript code to grab that pages URL and put that into the field value for this hidden field, okay? I know that's a, a lot to take in if you're not too familiar with the coding, but just think that I need to fill something out here in the field name. I'm gonna call it doc-url. You could look at the instructions here. It should just be one word, no spaces. And the field value, I'm gonna leave blank because I'm gonna use code again to fill that in for me. So let's look at that code. Let's go right into that. This is the JavaScript. I'm not going to go into the full details here, and I'll leave a link to the source code with some description around that for you if you want to use it. But it basically will look for that ID on the HTML page, doc URL, and set the value to the page's document URL. Okay, now it sounds really redundant, and it's pretty straightforward. That's all it does. All right, now let's go back to that other hidden field, which is the page post title. Now, this is something that Avada will do built in. Um, again, let's look at each one here, the field label. I just put something in there so it's not blank. But here, the field name, this is important. This should show up in your form entries. So I'm going to call it page underscore, underscore post title. Now, field value. This one you do have to fill in because you want to dynamically get the title and Avada will provide that. The only thing that I didn't know uh, was a little sticky point here. So just make sure that you remember to click on this cylinder icon and this will display a drop down. And in our case, we want the title of the document. This is a little counterintuitive. It says Avada form and title underneath. But all you need to remember is this is the actual title of the document, not the form. So when you select that, 
you'll get this. I left all that blank, but you can add a couple more things if you need to, to make that more descriptive. But as you see, it's working fine the way it is. All right, I'm just going to cancel out of that. And let's jump to the post. There's not too much here. This is the description text I have just before the, the form and then the form element down here. Okay, so this is the, the visual or the public facing version. And then this is the back end in Nevada. Okay, the documentation is here. It um, is a little skimpy. It will tell you that, okay, you could populate and configure your hidden field element. Okay, that's great. And you could even use a JavaScript uh, snippet, but it doesn't go into much more detail than that. It's a little vague. And then when you skip down here, you'll see that, okay, yeah, there's, there is something called field value. And um, this is a little redundant, in my opinion. Enter the value for that field. Okay, well, that's kind of obvious. All right, I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.